In part number one, we turned our blank around. We drilled and tapped our blank. We turned the finial. Now let's pick up where we left off in part number one. This is the finial end that we just machined. And our overall cap length is going to be that long. So now we're going to turn it around and we're going to drill up to there for the diameter of the inside threads. So we'll place it back in our collet chuck this way so that we can drill. I've got my 7 16 bit in. We are ready to drill it. In case you're wondering, that is water with some dishwashing liquid in it. I don't know what I was thinking when I told you guys I had to leave this much to hold in my collet chuck. I don't have to do that. I've got mandrels, so I can cut this off right here, and then we can drill or tap our hole for for our internal for our threads. Be right back. I'm going to cut our blank off to the finished size. So what that will do is uh, that'll be our finished cap size right there. Okay, I got it cut off to size. I'm going to use my drill bit to get it back on center. Now we're ready to install the tap to tap that internal hole. <clears throat> okay got my M12 by 1 tap in here. I don't have the triple starts like a lot of the guys do, so I couldn't afford those when I got into this and I haven't ever replaced them, so we use what we have. Remember we're making this to fit the pin I made several years ago. We don't need very many threads in there. All of my previous caps were done with epoxy resins. This Alumilite is just a dream to work with. It's the first one I've ever drilled and tapped using a luma light and it is so easy to use now let's see if we cover what I think that we'll do is it will come in here and we'll back cut these first couple of threads. We'll actually remove them and then the cap will will cover up this black part. If you remember our old one, see that I did that, they were back cut right here. So I'll back cut these so that our little black ring is covered up. Let's see if we can successfully back cut this just a little bit.
we covered it and our threads work great so now we can put it <coughs> on a mandrel and turn it to our finished shape and size and what we'll do is we'll put we'll put the calf on it and we'll turn them together and we'll put them on a mandrel and turn them down together we're going to start by turning it down to uh, 5 eighths of an inch 625 thousandths our finished cap needs to be uh, a little over about 6 12 down here let's see our finished cap needs to be somewhere around around 6 12 down here and down on the finial end we want to taper it down to about four about a half inch 480 at the end something like that so so we'll go from five eighths down to oh a half i've got a dowel rod pushing up against the cap end just to give it some support until we get ready to finish off the cap so we're going to go first of all we'll get everything to five eighths I'm being real careful down here at this transition where the cap and the finial meet. So I'm trying to get that smoothed up first. All right, we've got it turned down to five eighths like I wanted, which is six twenty-five. Let's see what we've got. We've got 632, 635. So we need to come off about 20 more thousandths. I'm going to set the calipers at. 613 and then I'm going to set these to that and this is going to be my go and no go gauge okay we're still a little big We are real close. I'm thinking I may sand it from there. 623. I may take a tip from Bob Blanford at RJB Woodturners and use what he called his 60 grit gouge where he sanded. You get pretty close and you can start sanding. I think that's what I'm going to do. This blank's just too delicate uh, and the wall's getting kind of thin. So I think we'll sand it from here out. I like that profile. It's 5 eighths down here and a little under 9 sixteenths, a little over a half down here. So I like that profile. Okay, now I'm just going to square up the end a little bit uh, 
and clean the end up and then we'll sand it. Cap looks looks pretty good here in the rough. And then our pan. There we go. Put it back on. We can polish it up now. Sand it up and polish it up. Okay, here's the cap that we finished up. I changed my mind on the finial. I'll explain in just a minute. But if you remember, in the opening, I said this was a piece of spalted black gum that I made a cap on uh, years ago. And But the problem was it cracked right there at the knot. And I have glued it and glued it and re-tapped it and done a lot of things. And it finally is, uh, I think, met its maker. So we were going to build a new cap. Now I changed my mind on the finial. I had originally said I was going to do a screw on finial and I made it that way. But I found this clip and I really like this clip. And uh, so I changed my mind on how I wanted to, what clip I wanted to put on. But this cap goes on this handmade or kitless or bespoke or whatever you want to call it pen that I made years and years ago this probably goes back five years I guess and it's a piece of Texas mesquite and for the threads I put a, a black epoxy uh, resin or PR resin insert in it and uh, that's what I drilled and tapped there and and made the section for a roller ball that you can buy you can buy these just like you can buy fountain pen nibs you can buy these roller ball nibs as well I think I can get it out You can buy these rollerball nibs as well. And they're, they're quite nice. I really enjoy riding with them. So, anyway, that is what... And I really like this pen. It's, it's got good balance. It's got lightweight. So I wanted to replace the cap. So here's what we did. Well, there's a close-up of our pen. I changed my mind on the clip. I have this clip that I really liked. And the way it's made is you have to turn a small little tenon it's actually a couple of different steps and it's a combination of a friction fit and then it's epoxied on so uh, but you can see that little little clip is pretty nice looking little clip as a matter of fact I got to try to find out where I got it and buy some more but our cap turned out pretty nice here was our previous one and you can see how these clips work we'll do a video in the future on how these clips go on but our finial screws on and these clips fit in a recess here and then you screw the finial back on I can't take this one off because it's I glued it on uh, later in life but let's look at our before and let's look at our after this was our before, which was a pretty pen, but we had that knot right there that kept cracking. And then this is our after. And uh, it's, it's pretty as well. I'm 
proud of this one. But I use these ink cartridges just like in a fountain pen. You can put a converter in it and fill it with your own ink or you can buy these cartridges. That's what it makes for a nice writing instrument. And I think our chocolate ice blank really looks nice with that mesquite pen body that I like so much. We appreciate you watching. And until next time, everybody be safe.